let's take a look at some of the more complex graphics that you can put within a document. Now here you'll see we're on our Burke Properties file and we have a lot of different features that we've been working on from WordArt. There's an example of a text box. And as we travel down, of course, we have our star. But what I'd like to do now is I'd like to add a chart. And this chart will have essentially a hierarchy of employees. So here, we're going to add several qualified team members. And we want all of our customers to know this. So I'll click right below We're Growing. I'm even going to hit Enter a couple of times to just give myself a little bit of workspace. And on the Insert tab, what I'd like to do is to put in something called Smart Art. Now, within Smart Art, I have a number of different categories on the left hand side. First one, of course, being All. But we have Lists, Processes, Cycles, a Hierarchy. This is one of the choices that we'll make. Relationships, various matrices, and of course, pyramids. So all these graphics are here for us to use. Now in our particular case, we're going to do a hierarchy because I would like to show the people that work within our organization. Now once you click on hierarchy, you want to look to the middle and decide which one's going to work best for you. I will go ahead and pick this one because I think it best meets the needs of the organization. Now here, you will see that it's given us a basic design. And within this design, I can go ahead and type some text. So in this case, we might type in Jan Burke, who's the president. And as I type, you will see that the fonts will always adjust. Down here, of course, we have Molly. And of course, here we have, on this side, an extra text box where maybe there's only one assistant. So what I've just done is I've gone ahead and deleted that text box and brought it down to a level where I have Jan, and then we have Molly. And of course, we have two more right here. So I'll type in Roger. and Lucy. Now, in this particular case, what I'd like to do is to add a shape. And I can add this shape before. I can add it after. I can also add it below. Because remember, we're dealing with a hierarchy. So we want to make sure that this hierarchy is going to work for us. In this case, it's going to be directly after. And you'll see we can add in one more realtor. Now, I can also go ahead and I can take Molly and I can move her over to essentially create a different line. And I can also move this one down and literally at this point, just changing the order that all of these boxes are going to appear in. Again, just picking something that might work for the organization. I'll use that and undo in this case to go ahead and show you that we can also bring it right back. So never be afraid of moving items around. All you need to do is undo it or delete the new objects you may have created. 